I am here vibe, with one of the most lyrically potent DJs of the 90s. His parents named him Ricardo Marage, but we know him as... Jonah Cat, you know? Small Apache, them don't know him. Father Cat. Heart of love, bless All is well, sir. Yes, sir. It's an honor, brother, yeah. brother. See? Manners. You cannot get the glory of reggae music and still get the glory of a gangster. You have to choose one. which one you want. You understand me? And that's why I cause a problem now where a guy can still dig out of music and you still gonna go to prison. You yeah. say you have a whole heap of youth still. The, then yeah. based on your recollection and your account, how much youth is a whole heap of youth? Well, you know, I have about 26 kids, you know. How oh, things between you and your brother though? Well, you know, it's just like we buck up, you know, yell and all them things there and really. But Cat is not really a friendly guy like that, you know what I mean? Cat is traveling in bone bands and don't talk to them. But I say, let love go, 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 let your love stay. And no matter what they do, and no matter what they say, but me say, teach them channel and it's a play. Tell you, me say, teach them, come teach them today. How the big band teach them channel. Boy, I did you all go then. When the DC General Bulletin and your weather, dope it, when the dope it. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Man right. look younger than me. No, that's a wallet, you know? <laughs> that's a wallet. Yeah. But talk to us though. Early life, place of birth. Well, you know, I originated from Cockburn Pen down in the ghetto there, you yeah. know. Um, born at Jubilee Hospital at yeah. Kingstonian, same here downtown. You know what I mean? And grow up in you know, the ghetto the same way. Same Cockburn. Yeah, mm. you know, and, and leave there at a later age. You know, I've been a um, veteran around here, you know? Yeah. <laughs> been there a long while, you know? Yes. Yeah. How many siblings? Well, you know, it's a lot, you know. So, <laughs> it's sound a way, but for me, if I tell you how much right now, I think I would have to do a recheck. Yeah? Okay. So, while you were growing up in Cockburn, Pendo, how many siblings were in the household with you? It was nine away, you know? Nine of you? Nine away. And some did still out the road? Yeah, my old man did have other kids with um, other women before yeah, me and my mother, you know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't remember me a bigger brother and them things. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So nine of you as children yeah. in the household, what was yeah. it like growing up though from a financial perspective? Well, some part of my life I didn't like to talk about because it's not nothing pretty, you know, but sometimes you have to just reason, you know? Yeah. It was living in this getaway, it was um, my father was a... Indian man from St. Mary. My mother was from St. Yeah. You know, my father tell me when him come to this community, my father used to buy and sell cow and goat and them thing there, you know. So it's like, when him come there, him say it was bush and them thing there. It was no community, it was train line and them thing there, like you know what I mean? yeah. yeah. When him come there, come live, you understand me? Mm. By being there with my mother and my father you now, Supercat was my mother's first son. Yeah. Then she keep, um, I have two more brothers with me follow, so me is eventually the last brother. Yeah. Then now my first sister follow me. Mm -hmm. So it was four brothers and um, five sisters, sisters, which is make nine. Yeah. So living there now, you know what I mean? My father used to work by Matalan where he used to drive trailer truck and them things. Mm -hmm. there. It wasn't nothing easy for we, you yes. know what I mean? By growing up, going to school and thing, it wasn't so pretty, you know? Yeah. So we've been all over the place, you know? One time you used to run, we go catch fish down a place named Bolo. And next time you end up around a river town, around the dungle. Yeah. And we are look food and things to you know, cause life rough, you know. Yeah. Then now we come home back at evening time now. Sometimes you come there, you know, it's not even dinner. No dinner nor not like that, you know. So me just get vexed more time now when not now go on and just cuff the, the neighbor them. You understand me? Because sometimes me can't take the pressure and they, yeah. them I look like, you know what I mean? So me I wonder if I laugh, them I laugh over me. Yeah. So me was a man like that from long time, you know, me would get ignorant and cuss and all them things they go on. But you know, by being there and you know what I mean, me used to sell star. Yeah. You leave go sell star. Then the star man used to pay the people on Sunday. So when the people I get paid now, he used to tell me, say, me not have no pay to get me who him. Because me used to sell star down at Alfred Tree, that's under the clock where them have the meatloaf place next door. Yes. So true be me never get this type of nourishing care down and get to the now and as me sell a star, I buy a meatloaf. <laughs> or or two or so and it tastes nice, but me never, me never get them type of nice something here. So me yeah. say, alright, so when 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 at night time now, you find say, the star money short. So when we do now, I wipe your glass and try to make up back the money. So, so this Sunday we are come now, you can't get paid and it don't look so bad. Because it's a big table where everybody get paid. Yeah. And they like when they say, Maraj, and them look on the book, them to say, 
but you who are we you now? You low for it, brother. You, 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 you shot every day your money shot. Sometimes you come in and bring the money and you get 100 star, you bring back 65 and the 35 money shot. Yeah. So what you do with it? Me buy me love. Yeah. You understand me? So things were rough. Rough, very, 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 very rough, rough. Despite rough. the fact that mommy and daddy try to put food on the table. Yeah. Yeah, well, daddy used to work over Matalan mm. there, you know, it wasn't much. Like yeah. him bringing a hot bread Friday evening and all them things that by Monday, Tuesday, everybody and them one we back in you know, the people in Plum Tree or up in the Guinea Tree or wherever so we grow. You yeah. know, people used to say, them now go go nowhere, you know, and them soon rare, rare, you know, but we understand the roughness. It can build make toughness. you be, yeah, it can build toughness and yeah, it can man. make you be somebody if you really know where you want. Yeah. Where did they attend school though? Coburn Garden All Age School. That, that was it. That was down by Agley Park Road. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, me used to do school now. Me used to school all one year like I wanted, man. <laughs> Some me school school when me a school school. You understand me? So like when. I'm not school school. I tap your top, go brother. Right stop. <laughs> dream, dream, some of school sometime. Yeah. You understand so me? So what, what caused that though? It's like you know being living in the ghetto and thing, and sometimes you know young youth coming up. And you know what I mean? Pick up this life I live in now where you want to do your own thing. So when you reach halfway to the school where you're supposed to go inside, now you make a U turn because you have something else on your mind. Not even no say in time to come, it will affect you because my mother used to tell me that. So you're not supposed to be here singing reggae music that smoke ganja. The brain where you have, you're supposed to be a liar yeah. or a doctor because God born in April, they might find him in a mere. So <laughs> at time you waste your time. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm born April 21st. Yeah, right. So she know like, you know, he's mm. a street kid. Yeah. Might never make it up a university a, a, a university and things like that, but with, with Zinc Fence Academy and Street, street Side smarts. College, you, you can't pass me. Yeah. You understand me? Me not never read so good, but you can't count like me. So there's not no way you can trick me because I learned this from star selling and wiping yeah. carrying them with it. Balance the thing. Yeah, so I have a problem in my life where me control it, so me know what it is. Yeah. You understand? So me? when you were growing up in Catburn, Pendo, what was it like in terms of violence at that time? Bad place, Bad man. Bad place. Election, man. Politics coming up, man, and people are dead and gunshot are fire. We out there as youth on the street and thing because we never want to go home because people are dead in them yard too. <laughs> so we end up down where them call the borderline now where everybody gather where them people would sleep that night. Yeah. It, it's politics it call when this side over here with that side over here. So it's like a dance hall because you have 3,000 men over there so, and you have 3,000 men over here so I get ready to kill off them one another. And we in the mix as you. Don't even know that's how we grow. Yeah. And I watch what I go on. See? Then after politics now and then it would have, have calm down back now where the community you'd see people coming in from mm. that sandy side so you have music now where where is, is party you now like like dance hall. yes where we would see people like uh, trevor rankin rankin tie and peter rankin so that was the thing where me did really like um, even though i got through all of this mm. round so that was my thing yeah but it's it a go on and Before you live here the music part though i'm um, growing up in Cockburn where so much violence was around how difficult was it for a youth whose parents don't really have it a youth to not go to school was it challenging for you to avoid that type of lifestyle eh, and keep out of, out of trouble so to speak or no. you get involved some of the no, time no we get involved uh, many of the time you know and we can't even say we keep out of trouble it's the most i you know protect we because you have people when we did more sensible than we when we did younger getting in trouble so it wasn't even we, we, we never liked trouble. We yeah. can say that. It's not like say, people tell them are bad people and thing and them come from Cockburn Pen and them. It wasn't even like that. You know, yeah. sometimes it's the place where you live. They label you as that. And then if you live there and you can't deal with it now, you become a rookie because if you live in a bad place, you're not for bad enough. But at least protect yourself. Yeah, and if anything. You understand me? Yeah, man. So, so the love for the music though now, how did that start to manifest itself? Well, by going to Cockburn Pen School, as I tell you, you know, um, they used to have a thing at end of year time where they called the name Fear. Mm. It was a festival where go on at the end of year time at the school where everybody would get a chance to prove themselves. Because there was music there and there was microphone and you know what I mean? So, they would have a thing named DJ Jamboree. Five guys put on their name mm. and they all enter and they're going to go to the final. All right, so I wasn't even a finalist there because you have DJ away in the school where, where they better man. than me. You mm. understand me? Me was the man. Yeah. But by going on, going on, you know, when, when they used to tape the vice from cassette, 
and then them play it back and you get to hear yourself that's when me really listen now and me get to find out say, am I vice that? yeah so me say, oh I saw it go they, they couldn't tell me nothing again this is what me was into so me would go to the, 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 the bar they used to have the bar, the bar used to have a thing with jukebox. you, jukebox. Mm. So you, you could have punched the, the B side of the record and get the version. So you could DJ and the version. Mm. That time in Michigan and Smiley, they have a tune named um, Diseases. Yeah. So anytime you hear that rhythm there, it's like it's one thing come to me is DJ business where me would just go eh? And if you don't see me, I just have practice to come better because yeah. me find out say. The music, oh my watch, Trevor Rankin them and Ty and them used to a DJ. I said, stand up and look for them. So. And then I find out, say, music is not me for a long time, so I just me for push it out. Yeah. So the time me did I take a kill myself around there as a youth now and I train me a self star and me mm. I do this and me I do that. When, when, when me start get bigger now, me don't want to sell no star again. So. Yeah. You, you want, want to be me? a star? Yeah, I want to be a star. <laughs> Yeah, so at that time though, Junior, was your brother in the music, involved in music as yet? Yes, Super Cat was yeah. um, DJing with um, Early B. Early B. Yeah, because Cat, it, Cat, it, Cat was an apprentice at a racetrack, you know. And that oh, Cat, it, said, yeah, that Cat, it won't be a, a jacket. Jackie. So he was right there, so he used to DJ at the stadium that train, you know. Yeah. So he used to come home like, like the man will come home at weekend time because you know, they, like all Friday now, Jackie come home because mm, tomorrow I ride in the day, go back a track. So early B used to buy a racer, so he, he would have like early B to win and thing. So early B I say, my Jackie this and thing and Ray Ray. So the mistake when them go make a win, them go give him the mic. Oh. In my bad, I want to be no Jackie again. <laughs> so the man I said, this Jackie thing and this racer. I thing really mean want to ride this Yeah, man. so he start DJ you now and <laughs> thing, yeah. seeing, and people used to like it. I mean, so wonder where the man do and think of them time they used to. But about on, but about on, I said, what about them? I say and thing, you know, but I stay there and spend time and me, me get for start. Love it now, DJ business, you know what I mean? And I say, like, um, other guys now would, would, would come, but with Early B and Cat now, Early B, Prentice Super Cat, like, like, see him, Prentice. Yeah. Like, anywhere Early B go, Cat, Cat, Cat go. So they used to DJ sound him, Soul Imperial. And then them leave guy one sound name, Flames. Yeah. Crystal Blue. Right? All of them sound there, them DJ. Mm. So a long time them did debut before people did even did even hear, hear about them and they say, say, till them leave go a center mass, them used to DJ a sound name, King Majesty. Yeah. So them have a clash one night at Skateland now. They was coming to Skateland to meet King Gemini. Black Zodiac. And the next sound, I think that sound named Studio Mix. See, but nobody don't know them. Yeah. So them, them was like country boy, but a town man them. So them end up winning the clash tonight and they make them name. Mm -hmm. So them would have, them, them leave out the, the small sound now to a Copburn pen because Jaro come for them. So them go on a Jaro now and things. So we get the work now for start DJ the sound. Down a Catburn pen. So, mm. so remember Daddy Uri over the next side, you know, Josie Wheel over there, Charlie Chaplin over there, because Kingston 11 was full of musicians. It, it was like an empire, because Daddy Uri is the founder of a DJ a business. Yeah. See, so that's where we used to penetrate and dance over here. So we used to go over there at night time, and then we used to walk over there at night time, and because everybody did have sound system one mm. time. That's why people love music. Yes. There's a lot of us. So whenever me alone, we'd have German, we have Iron Man. We have Martin Luther, we have Sergeant Rock, seen um, Ninja Man, the name Ugly Man, we have Terrific, we have Adam Murphy. Yeah. Seen, look, so a it, twitch. look a Twitch. It, mm. it was a whole heap of art. Me wasn't the big man, as me I tell you. Yeah, me man. was in the group. I learned. I learned the crowd. And, and I watched them because some of the youth them did bad. Mm. Seen? Yeah. yeah. So, how did your musical journey grow to that door? Um, one at a time now. As I tell you, the same DJ Jambari come back yes, around yeah. again. You know, the, the same Bambulan. That mm. I have a cat them gone now. So it is be we know as growing up now against one another. And you have Marlon Brando and all them youth there. Um, them was good DJ too. So we have a DJ Jambari down there the night. And um, I enter the Jambari again. 
But people were so excited the way all them know me as a little community man DJ. used to walk barefoot yeah. and ah. sell star and go everywhere go DJ. Them feel good them to see. Fear. Me I enter the competition. So by going up there and thing and I couldn't even ride the rhythm so good. Yeah. So I was asking on the rhythm and I tell you, from me start, them at them at them at I, 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 bone I, forward. I bone forward. <laughs> it was like a, a comedy thing, like a laughing and fence and lick and people said, Flo, no, nah, I can't believe Mr. Dax used to call me. Mr. What? Mr. Dax. Mr. Dax. That was my name, Mr. Dax. Yeah. Yeah. How oh, you get that from the cat? I mean, name myself, so. Yeah. But that they used to call me Dax. Mm. Oh, okay. So, cool. as a youth, I just named myself Mr. Dax. Dax. I really, Junior Demos, him give me the name Junior Cat, and I mean. Oh, okay. You understand me? Mm. And I uh, may up win the jamboree the night. Yeah. See? And, um,. Remember, you know, my mother now, as I tell you, them was poor people, so I would have come out now, but um, me and I had a, a brown pants, you know, mm. with all a blue shirt, you know. And you remember them pants that we have all your back pocket cut around your son, a bell foot down there and all them things there, so I know nothing pretty, you know, you understand? So I come out and I see the other youth, them how them dress now, because them was youth from ghetto and them things there, you yes. know, you understand me? Where them, 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 them build them own clothes, because them are rough youth from Whiting and back to Taylor, make your pants. And uh -uh, make your, your, your vest and all them things, then your thing match up. So, me come out now, now this big bell foot pants that my mother buy for me, you know, with, with, with this, this big silver shirt and this brown crepe. Now everybody busts out a laugh, I mean, it's like a comedy, but I never know about the dressing code, you understand me? But, yeah. me a street youth. Mm. And so, I win the jamboree now, the night, them time, them give me $20. 20 I mean, yeah, $20 <laughs> I get, them time, they're a long time, $20. Yeah. So, I go buy a pants length. And give the tailor and tell him, say, why I make that pants like how the youth them pants look, you know, because the one that my mother buy for me, the man that laugh off at me at night time, you know, the, 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 the dance, you know, and I say, I'm ready to get them pants, you know, so I start learning and find out, say, oh, the dressing or whatever. So mm. I get to your, your barn, you know, and I get to your living, you have to watch them and learn. So I saw we learn as youth, because we start from a young, young age, you know. We, we never start DJ business like since we turned big man, you know. Yes. We just get exposure since we start go, go DJ mm. for sound. But a long time So the, the dance hall jamboree you now kind of introduces some people. Yes, that's my win the jamboree. So now people that start know about me now from. Remember, Captain Pen, I come from, yes. so that's the only place they know me. But some of the man them and the crowd, they come they from come all other places. And people that learn and find out, say, oh, I want new one this now, but he man cut a bread and he mm. can't so people start knowing me now. Yes. See? So me, me, a man that put my name on a poster, that I used to have posters. But yeah, man. You'd have loved that. You're not getting the money, you know, but your name and the, the post, the post that, that, yeah. People still have to the name. Yeah, mm. so that was a good thing. So you continue be. up learning the craft? Yeah, I stay there with it and stay there with it and, you know, DJ business people that come to the community at your time and them come. Because you have broke back and them out there, so a man, a man wants a DJ for a DJ sound. So he would, he would attack, which artist him come for? Yes. See, so you have a brother from Clarendon named Cosmic Force, see? His name Bala, Cosmic Force, I mean, that sound here, Cosmic Force. So, the man they used to have a whole heap of sound clash and things. So, when him come and thing, and I see the car pull up and thing, that time when big car come in now, you know, a big car get big now, you know. When I look, I see Brockback come out. So, he must say, hey, and thing, you know, the brother and thing have a dance down, so, you know, you know, a New Year's night, and we have a dung there and thing, and go and work the sound. So, I say, no problem. We left our country that time. It's me, Bonnie General, Papa San, because I'm a young youth, you know. Yeah. I start meet up with them big star, you know. Papa San, Bami Man, and all them things they're seen. And you go out the road and, and a DJ sound and I get forward, and people start getting to know you. Yeah. You understand mm. me? Because people that feel like, say, true, my brother was a DJ. That's why, you know, me did a try DJ. Mm. You understand me? But it come down for me away when me find out, say, it didn't even get harder because when you end up a road and meet all of them bad DJ, you know, and your brother not there to fair DJ the sound with you. Yeah. Oh, you are going to deal with it. Yes. So I have to balance myself. That's more time when, when, when I end up in a certain clash and thing and people tell me, say, yeah, man, you go on good, man, and you win the clash, man. And mm. sometimes I couldn't believe. But yes. by growing up and growing up, people would tell me, say, yo, you, you sound good, you know. Start believing in yourself Yeah, now. And, and you sound good and you should um, try to do some music and put some nice lyrics together. Because I would have DJ whole heap of gun thing and slackness and politics and all them things because we never know as a youth, you know. We have such a good thing and we never know. Yes. So once you start, meet people now and you meet the right people and them start telling you. Start uh, believing yourself. All the foreign and all them things, the people are listening to your music and them things. You try to reach them with a better vibe. True. So as so come now, we end up out there. 
in a in a in a dance hall world where even ninja and them you they can tell you because when when we meet ninja man me did out a long time already yes i do me think that i'm in name ugly man ugly man iron man jonah frost all of the, the patrons that I meet from your young you, General Trees, mm. Tiger, me can remember Peter Metro, the whole way you used to rock. Come DJ every sound. Yes. People right. that come to you and say, you're a night tonight cat, I'm gonna have a right. dance and I don't know me why you're the promoter sent for you. The name start reach road, people start know the name, people start know the face, people start make the association with you because that time cat thing out there already mm, to yeah, an, yeah, um, yeah. super cat look a brother yeah. and but you still try to build a name for yourself yeah, me yeah. road man, me yeah. road and then eventually where you ended up, Jaro? well, um, cat them did leave Jaro now, go to Stero Mars mm. you understand me, so as I tell you, you know, me, 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 me got a country go DJ, a cosmic force so certain time you come home back like, yes. you know, you're there back here one, one time down there, you know, they get to there and a Jaro, Benz, I pull up so it's like me, I show him, say, cat them not there because they're gone. With so I said, come here. So I, I, I try to find out when I realize. So I said, it's you I come to. Yeah. Because I go on to DJ the sound tonight. Mm. You don't watch who them not there and thing, you know. It's you I come first. So I was so excited for no say, Jara give me the work for DJ the sound. When I go there now, Jim Kelly did, did dead, you know. And then Super Cat and Early B that work the sound. Early B gone from two a foreign cars. Early B get big. Cat, yes. Cat gone with Demons and Sturman, so. It was like me and Dirty Harry and Twitch. Mm -hmm. I worked the sound. But me was a younger youth, but Jara did just know, say, it's something yeah, in the you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Even me, myself, I said to myself, so I can't manage it. And think, but me still there at night time, and then him, him come back for me tomorrow again. Mm -hmm. See? And it take time, take time, go and still me, bring Ninja Man, and bring German, and bring Iron Man. So, it was we now. Yeah. You bring Ninja Gajaro? Yeah, I mean yeah? bring Ninja Gajaro. Mm -hmm. Right? And, and bring Iron Man and the whole of them. See? Yes. I bring Ninja Go um, in a copper Benetton. Me, me, me like discover Ninja, you know, when yeah. Ninja does come in. You know. I know people never know him. Was ugly man, live at um, Endless Avenue there. <laughs> See? A long time, man. Yes. You understand? And um, we get the work for DJ Jaro sound. And we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it a while, you know what I mean? And we go all around. When the sound leave town Friday, it don't come back till Saturday. See? And mm. when it come back, the sound of that play. You mean the next sound. weekend? No, no. Like the when we play day. a Friday, yeah. Saturday night we play a road, Saturday night we play a road, Sunday night the sound that play a town. Because Jarrow was a bank manager, you know. Mm. Yeah, Jarrow used to work at a bank. Oh. So Jarrow would have to go to work in the morning. Monday so, morning. Yeah, so it's the development of the sound now again. Yes. He end up have to leave the work to attend to the, the sound. sound. You understand? Because the sound end up bust back again. Mm. You understand me? After the Jim Kelly um, Lone Ranger thing, and it, you know what I mean? With the early B and the Super Cat, and then we come now as you, the, the sound gets up back again. again, like a live man again. So, mm. Jara was a, um, a um, what would I call it now? A building block. Important so, stepping stone. Important stone. stepping stone. So, we, that, mm. that's something where yes. we can't forget. So, all that now led to you. Rec starting to record because early B, early B was 85 champion, you know. Because early B was a, a manager for Glass Factory, yeah, yeah. Early B was a big man, you know. Then, when early B leave and start DJ, you know, the same year where early B start him career, when him do, um, um, I show him the greatest joke upon earth, mm. Seabird. Then, him come to a show him, um. The tribute to Robert Nesta Mali. All the time nobody don't know them children, you know. When Early B come to um, One Wheel Wheelie. One Wheel Wheelie. That was the yeah. time when them know Early B. Mm. So that was a number one song for Early B. Then him come to Gate Man Get Freed, number one, Sunday Dish, number one. Early B was 85, DJ champion. Yes. So the, the guy we used to produce Early B named um, Junior Straight. So we was there. Anyway, Early yes. B, but we did it with him. So when Early B advised them, would have said, all right, give me some ducks. I try on the rhythm. Mm. So in time we used to record on a tough band on a Bob Marley place. We do a show name, not give me no gun, not give me no weapon. We ne never really saw them time. But it was like my first song, you know what I mean? So that was the first time you went to a studio a to record. Studio to record. And an early BKI there. Yes. Mm. yes. Yes. But the song never do well. The song the song was a good song, but as I say, me did young. Yeah. So record jury and them thing they fit not good, they would have dumped dump it. it. They never dump it. They pass the song. Pump it. So me would hear the yeah. song play and know oh, cool. 
it played. So it never so bad then, man. Yeah, yeah. You remember the song? Yeah, man. Don't give me no gun. When I say, don't give me no gun, don't give me no weapon. Don't give me no gun, don't give me no weapon. When I say, well, the system not Jamaica for tear the youth down. Cause the rich man from the hill, them want all the lump sum. No want to get to youth, them where I suffer get none. Well, that's why the youth, them are turned to them gun. Pick up them M16, lick up them Magnum. You know what I mean? That you know, was my first show, but I yeah. still remember some of the lyrics. Yeah, man. Because more time people come to me. Say, <laughs> don't play it. Yes, man. Yeah. So that was your first recording. Yeah? yeah. What came after that in terms of recording, though? What did that lead to? Seeing that you have a song, I get a little rotation from the radio, you know, and you know, only have a face and name in the dance hall space, but also from the airwaves. I never record any more songs for a long while. Why? I was. In the dance hall, oh, yeah, the dance sound hall. system thing. Mm. At them time there, I it was no recording, night, recording too yeah. much. It's yeah. just that early be them did bust. But in them time they would have say some man have no 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 studio appearance or no. Cause enough artists really mash up dance hall, but them never record mm. no big song. Yes, you understand me? So I was there messing around dance hall till me end up back a star of Mars now again. Leave Jaro, Jaro. end up back at Stereo Mars mm. now again. A DJ Stereo Mars now with Demos, so that means that we are DJ every sound now. Yes. Right? So I was there um, DJing the sound, Supercat, early D, Demos, them going to foreign again. So I did it one time and thing, and um, Skengdan come to Jamaica, and somebody was telling him that. Me and Lick Larry, we did it, I worked the sound, and we had worked the sound and things. So he was saying, yo, um, we are bring in on the passport and think that we're going to have a, a festival up in Miami, you understand me? And we are young youth, we don't know what I'm talking about and think and I'm saying, passport. We are bring in my passport and think and Jaro was playing, in Sermaz was playing into Skateland the night because it was like, it was a celebration because they made go have the big show at Miami Baseball Stadium where mm -hmm. it was a 50 odd people that travel where you have people like all Barry G and all them people, it was like the whole Jamaica leave, right? They have a brother named Clinton Lindsay. Clinton Lindsay was Tamika Production. He was a manager for Papa Sun them and them. He was the first man where a care artist for America because Sun was a big star at them time. They yes. were Sun travel every week, you know? Alright, so. We end up at the embassy and like they would have, it was 50 odd people, so I'm telling you, 30 odd people would get you to the we never get you. So the sound was still in Skateland. Because they might get ready to leave. So then the man come back the next morning and bring in 20 odd people again. So everybody eventually everybody get gone. visa. So when me I got to Farid, I couldn't even make my family them know because when, when me and my visa and my plane ticket for me and I go to my yard and my brother and me say, I say, where they? The whole lady I look for you from man if you come watch the plate them and think nobody can find you. Know. <laughs> but where they you know in the yard and think so me I say, watch which plate. Yeah. I'm, I'm a plane ticket there, you know, and I'm a waste me at them and, and some of Farid me I go your shoes, I come for borrow because you know me not no shoes. <laughs> Them time I'm a waist size 10, you know. I'm a, I'm a look at you, you know. My foot big enough so my yeah. brother would have wear yet. So I'm a borrow him shoes and push my foot now that guy. He says, I'm firing me, I go. So he said, go on. <laughs> my brother named Jolik shot down. So I said, Jolik shot. Remember, you know, we don't know if you get to the airport, you know, because I'm a look at you, you know. So them man, they know, would have, would have, would have, would have tell people with business and make them know, say, yeah, America, we are going now and thing. And big, we get big now, bus for bus, we are going up and plane. A five man, a five, because we go to the airport. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, we got here. So we go up on the plane the night, General. It was like a one set of man on the plane. We are going to Miami. But man, look at you. Yeah. See, so it's my first time I got travel. Look at you. When I reach uh, uh, Miami, we meet Yami Bolo, um, um, Dennis Brown. Cause it, was, it was like we reach a place now where everybody, everybody was there. So mm. I start thinking of myself now. I mean, I said, you would say. You know, it really I work for me you now. If you sit down there, so where I come from now, and man down there, we're better than me you now. I me get around now for the out here, so now I go work at this big stadium so tomorrow. That's me they know where me I go do. Me just say me I go to go DJ. Yeah. So you're reaching at the states. Yes, so I. What was yeah. the performance like though? Well, as I tell you, sometimes I don't even know how good me that do. But it's yes. like me daddy and thing and them would have call up some more artists because it's a bully for artists. So when them call you now, you know, and Mr. Dax them I go call. Cause them time they you don't even name Juno chat yet. <laughs> yeah. You understand me? And me come out as a little youth and me a DJ my tune them because me have my lyrics them time there, you know, where me I tell you, say, you know what I mean, we're proud to be black, that's a natural fact. At 12 times, me escape from out of cell black, all who feel and no get no catch, go hide themselves in a peanut trash. And me, Mr. Dax, in reality and facts and girl in a me is a dig out the wax and 
Who am I to say, whoa, you're going good and people ask the autograph and all them to you. I say, autograph, what is autograph? Yeah. See, in fact, them time the way I use, you yeah, understand yeah. me? I say, whoa. They there and we there, there and we there, there and we there. They're like, we are get too, too love it now. So yeah. they, them start sending me up one man. You have man when I come back. You have man when I see back from that. Yeah. Where, where from man see them big chair and them pretty light here and all them big hotel room and thing man say. Nah, I go back in our struggles. I go back. So he, I just see a man say one night, like him just called five names and say, come this way. I text him, it's the next show we have. <laughs> and I say, airport man. I rush to pack up a little sin thing then because yeah, wait for someone else if you can get and thing, you know, because yeah. things are going on in America, that big gold chain away and thing. I said, go in home. I never seen that way. I come home, you know. Mm. Um, come home and thing, as I show you how the thing I work. Jara was going to Canada. The God again. Jara got Canada and the promoter will keep the show. He said to me, he said, me don't even come at the embassy, just give him the passport. Yeah. That's how the youth, them, they have the link up there. They tell me and a youth name, um, Carl Meeks, Daddy Lily. Philip Fana. These guys don't come back either. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I said they're going to try to come and I said, I bet on them one. Yeah. Yeah, we end up in a Canada and thing and Jara, you know, and thing and we do a couple of shows and place nice and we get some work. For, for, at them time, there was no dub plate business, mm. you know? You would have got to some basement party and yeah. winter time and people ram up in there and it's nice and you know what I mean? You meet people and you know? More things open up again and yeah, I travel before your bus, Junior. Yeah, yeah. Then I tell him, man. I tell him, man. It was that music did really love me and me. They love music. music because I see some youth have it hard, and I think I more time to your mind have a lot to do with your life. You know what I mean? Mm. You don't fight no back like if you's a fool, you can't play wise. It's the wise. Can only be a fool. Yes. Yeah, so sometimes you just know, say it's not right, you know. But with the love of God, if a man not do it, here, the Almighty are gonna do it. So work with it then. And see where you can get out of it. Mm. Right? But they don't know, brother. Till I tell us, early B was keeping a show in America called Kingston 11 Splash. Yes. Empire Skatering, one of them big places into to New York, right? 25. Yeah, and I, I, I was to go on that show because I was early B apprentice and I never get to make it because we have a next apprentice where come bus named Conrad Crystal. Conrad. With a tune named True Love Never Die. Mm. And then the tune start licking down America, so they say, better we bring Conrad. Yeah. Mr. Dax can go and call, we'll bring him next time. Uh, I was thinking, you know, that something never right, you know, because I didn't really want to go to New York. I never go to New York, I go to Miami. Yeah. There was a lady who was doing the visa, her name was Miss Carmen. As I tell you, you know, it's a spiritual thing with music, you know, because you have to help yourself too, you know. It was not starting them time mm. the way people are sticking up and you are the man, you know. I yes. have to see something in you and we work with it, you know. Alright. The lady was carrying in people into the embassy. She had a visa license where she would bring in any artist if Clinton Lindsay cannot make it, you know. And I never get forgot, but I still want to go to America. So I got to the embassy. After everybody got in America and thing, go up there and thing and I try um, to get an American visa. And I have the lady um, license numbers and thing. And I have the lady phone number and her address was Miss Candice Baswell. I never forgot. Right? And I was in the line and I hear people getting turned down and all them things. I'm a daddy and thing. When we go up there, um, the, the lady. Asked me like should I said to me say why you wanna go to America and think but me they don't have a um a, a American visa with a Canadian visa mm. I me never run off mm. right so I don't know what the discussion was but I said to the lady said um I want to go and see America and think because I, I'm an artist and you know I hear reggae big that in a, in a New York and them tell and yellow man Peter Mitchell out. Demons them used to DJ oh New York City and you book up this artist down here. It, it, it was ringing in my head. So the lady never said nothing more to me, you know. You know, I take a bus, go up at the embassy. They give me a blue piece of paper. That means you get through, you know. And when I care about the paper down there and show them, the people them buy me lunch and carry me back in a taxi. And, help me, and, and pick up the visa for me. And like a man that said, one inch and a man said, no, I'm on a life sentence visa and get me. I get a multiple indefinite and my own. Yeah. See? I leave go to, Yeah, I leave go to America. Um I live um at Supercat house. 
My digger brother. The time I was with no big DJ and all. He's a patchy scratchy. Still about say. Yeah, he's a patchy scratchy. Them I go see a DJ. So me this one too. Pack it up, did that. So me punk cock, punk cock. You understand me? So me I say weird. So the man him a deal with it. I did that yard and thing, you know. I was more like a little L. You know what I mean? So that was me. The man no rate you. You don't know star. Go cook some food, man. We don't know how to deal with some business. <laughs> Alright, cool. It, it licked me in a me that time when I said that is what me want to deal with, but yeah. the man them not dealing deal with me, Rasta. Mm. But me and my things them in a me and thing, you know. My vice some tune. Me not vice some tune and the same supercat label. They did have the same rhythm, them lick back. Bah, 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 and Boro come from the rhythm, come to. And me have a tune from the rhythm there. DJ's origination, where you come from, too much pirate around my section. Sorry that done by Tracy Chapman and then Foxy Brown do the cover version. And a cup of water for Neil Flower Gun. Right? And and and, 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 yeah, and then and, and then and then Mr. Ninja Lang for release and gone to Manchester. Caught the melody, modern girl left him close them a fire. Um, um, <laughs> I who made a mashup the other day. I would them say a tiger. And, and the tune take off. So people that tell them say, "In bad enough, but birds band and tune they done gone already." Mm. And the tune run we gone number one, right? Take rhythm. Yeah, birds take away the rhythm and thing. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, and thing, you know. And, that time you were still overseas with your brother. Yeah, and something said to me like one night time say, you know. Problems, you know, all kind of things will start to happen you now. And I say, better I go back to Jamaica, you know. Better I go back to Jamaica. Then early B did leave, but dead. Early B went to a dance in Boston, where he lose him life down there. See? And that was like my teacher because me and my brother don't live close, like how yeah, early brothers B live. Yeah, so okay. I would always be at Early B place, but I live at Cat House. Mm. So I go home at night, but at daytime I find Early B. Alright. So I get lonely now. Carly B was there, so I'm gonna come home. See? I'm gonna come back to Jamaica, that's when Garnet still lose him life. You get frustrated like you feel like you are done with it, you know. Sometimes, you know. Because remember, you're not a big star, you're getting no glory, you know. Your youth are come up, you know, but you're having rough times, you know. And bad memories and all them things there. I say, alright, cool. My day then, Nicodemus came to Jamaica now. He was trying to do some dub plate with some sound man, but Supercat never do dub plate. Uh, so he must have used me now at Supercat. Yeah. So when he would say, the, the guy would find out. Yeah. So he say, um, Demos, refund some of the money, you know. Because I'm a cat. I find out selling the real cat, that's a kitten. <laughs> so Demos say, cash not refundable anymore, cat. A rat. Yeah. And you know? We we'll go on and go on and go on and you know me and Demos there and thing and we we'll go down the country now and thing for go carry some more dub with your next sound man so Demos say so cat you stay in the car and thing and jar down the fence in your face so the man say tell cat come drink a beer man so he must say boy cat not feel so good you know <laughs> the man say I have to test them dub here then you know so yeah. say, put all the tune that you say so play Bumble King so me and the man say Demos Fool, you take man for. <laughs> Dima said, What are you talking about? I'm not super this man. Dima said, I know man. I'm wrong, you know. And you know, yeah, you're right, anything can happen. But you wait, though. Just pay me, let me go on. It won't happen again here, sir. <laughs> so I start finding out, say, Them man, you know, a man where. Do you even care because music business is hard and you have to try to dig out? Because one time artist wasn't even getting nothing. Yes. So it's a DJ. But you're a star. You understand me? All right, Dima have a bike where me and Demos used to ride on the bike where Demos used to ride on the bike back with the felt at you know so everybody think I super cat a Nicodemus <laughs> so we go at Jammins now and we don't at Jammins Sir James yeah and we didn't know so I saw me me Jan Jan oh. but when Jan Jan attacked me me think said Jan Jan never know say me because he said to me say me want to do some tune with you, you know and think of me I said no man I mistake you make man yeah I think I can't yeah, I think I can't <laughs> I mean, I'll be truthful now because yeah, I really need to be me. Yes. And him said, no, man, I know, say, I you, man, I you, more and deal with, man, and think, and come in, I could do something, man. And I remember him, 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 him play a rhythm one time. I mean, the DJ upon the rhythm. But he never go on so good, you know, but he was still interested. And then and we sing our next tune again when we sing the tune, say, Dead, you are go dead. But we sing it upon the rhythm name. Johnny Dalla, see him Johnny Dalla again, and, and, and he can show what he steal it. He steal it really. Build the rhythm. Steal it really, build me that way, like, to make people really hear me 
solid and the voice ah. and, and, and tear up New York because the tune never sound good on the rhythm being it was a, 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 a slow voice yeah. with a fast rhythm. rhythm. Mm. So Steely would have toned down the voice and him dead and him say, him fly the tune off of the rhythm to the next rhythm and him. Ba 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 ba. And him say, yeah, dead you are go dead. You did see general bullet in your head. Dopey. Ba 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 ba. But, but like a hip hop beat him put it yeah. on like, right? So me now. Start rip New York now. Start bust up the place now and people get to know about me now. See me I say? So I'm there with John John see me and thing and till Jamin say, I want to do some work with your Apache Scratchy. I want to do a Clash album. See? So it was me and Scratchy No I do the Clash album because Scratchy was a bigger star for me them time there. But True Be Me was a dancehall DJ where hooked to sound system. I don't know what the difference is, but I ride any rhythm. Mm. I start the album and reach about three singles. I mean, say, nobody wants to scratch it on the album. You want? And me, more, so the album becomes Top Dog. Top Dog? Yeah. Mm. See, I saw me end up back in my brother camp again now after me do the album for Jamins now because it was like, say, well then, um, you sing for them people, but you don't sing for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody never rate me as no singer. Yes. So the time when me leave out now, I'm going to work on it and work on myself. Develop a thing. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, man. That's when me done with, with, with Jamin's place, man. I um, um, have a tune when he um, never want to go on without gloves on the general land where um, Pat McKay was a top radio announcer in a New York where she would have said, Juna can make it to the top 30 before the year end. Yes. I'm not the best, you know. And I do it myself as the best, but things that work for me, and I say, yeah, you know, when I beat Shabba and all them, man, the Shabba would have said to me, say, boy, Jonah Lyon, your voice be heard, you know, because I hear your work. Jonah and, Lyon. Yeah, so he said to me, and he said, boy, you know, for the man, them, I don't tell no lie, them sing a couple of songs, but I don't really hear them. Yes. And, you know, me a man, I punch up a couple of rhythms, and I hear you upon the rhythm, them round there, yeah, go on, and you know, I say, well, Ram said, no, I love, we love it, so we don't get the DJ dance hall, we don't mind DJ in the studio yes. all night. And then we now understand say, all of them things are recording. Yeah, man. Yes. It's not like a DJ and a song does go up and a get it. Work, so yeah, work. It's really a blessing when we see it come back now. People mm. ask me, say, I um, get some yeah. work for you up and dub play. But are you sing them tune yeah? Mm. I say, yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, sing them. They might not be like some of Super Cat song, but I mean, sing them, yes. man. I might sing them. You spent a lot of time around early B. Yeah. yeah. What type of person was early though? Early B, man, was, was, was such a loving, kind person, man. No people never meet him, but they would have think that Early B threw him come from ghetto. Mm -hmm. Early B come from a rough place, too, you know, he yeah. come from Pienland. Pienland. And, and he, 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 he come to Cockburn Pen, and he always have youth around him. But Early B, you know, was a, um, from Boystown, 7 no level. Yes. Good up there, you understand? But he's not a man to show it. Yes. So when Early B start to write song now, everything when he write is meaning, so he may not make peer hit song. So early B would write Bible story, part one and Super Cat write part two. Mm -hmm. I saw them come now because when them come around, remember Josie Whale and Chaplin around the place. Yes. So you, you couldn't be no, no, no fool to come keep up with them mm -hmm. and then. And early B eventually, you know. But he's a man like this. If you don't like trouble, he's a peaceful man. And he's not a man where he threw him in music business. Early B don't like crowd. Yes. You understand me? Strange for your, for your artist, isn't it? Yeah, that's what mm. I tell you. So you were in the States when he died? Yeah. Oh, what he was with Early B the night before him dead. Me and him was at me, me I go at Chicago. The, 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 and Early B I go at Boston. Right? And, and Shined was at the studio. And when I look, I see a man I pray ground because I saw the Muslim. And I asked him why the man I pray. He said, No man, I saw them pray all the while. But Shined that the something we never get fit do where we are do and time. So while I was in Chicago, I get the phone call from Early B wife. She called the, the, the road manager and made them attack and me and bust out a ball in. And me must say, No, that's not fair. So I took out the phone and the girl and said, Juno, them just killed early last night in a bus stand. We don't even identify the body. You know, it was, it was shocking to me like the end of the world. Couldn't believe. So, what was the circumstance around his death, though? Well, them say, you know, it's like it was a dance hall going on with gun salute, you know. I saw them so early B get shot, you know. It was a gun salute, you know. I remember them so them I played the general rhythm when, when the shot fire was two shot fire and, and one of them going on me then dropped my brigadier and Oh say, Brigadier was there. Yeah, it was Jalova player. Uh, it was Jalova player. Mm. Them so early B got him suit at the dry cleaner when him go the night. They give him the suit wet. 
And the people are supposed to pick him up, so they cannot pick him up, but they have to get something come up there to wear them at. So there were signs for saying yeah, that Yeah, and I tell you, man, I tell you, man, it was fine, man. Mm. See, and, and when I hear that, I, I, then when I come back from Chicago, I go straight to early B house where I see the gathering and the morning and all of them things there, you know? Yeah. I used to remember early B used to tell me, say, Junior, I don't want nobody bring no arms and no guns and them things around. My kids, eh? he used to tell me that. Yes. And after early B dead, about a year after, them rob him son and kill him. Them rob him son and kill him, about two blocks from him house in Brooklyn. So I know early B is an angel and him gone to heaven because him always tell me, say, listen, if you can't leave it to the Almighty, you don't pick up any trouble on your head. You don't know who is who and you don't know the people. I mean, always live down things mm. and try to keep everything on a smooth level. Brigadier can tell about Early B because when Brigadier meet Early B, Brigadier said, we are in the same union, it was the same type of people them. Early B was so intelligent, like him was the opposite of DJ business. Yeah. He was too small for him. Mm. See? Can I say left? A very no, I'm not big impact man, I, I, never, I, I don't believe Early B ever got to Europe. Yeah. I don't think so. And if Early B was alive today, the moon name they are work so hard because our career never designed for that. He used to carry with me, <laughs> carry with him like kids. Then would yeah. have said to him, say, No nah, man, make him go home, man. Him too young man and think I mean I want him to come live rough like we and thing. And early B would have said, But I mean response to him. Oh, the the time about, yeah, we have a car where them call them car the um starlet. Mm -hmm. They don't have any chunk. They have a back over there with a glass. So that's where I ride. So if it's Jesus in the car. I always be in the back over there. If not leave, I'm going to wear. Mm. Right? And they say, Junior, roll a split for me. Or get me a, 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 a beam work with them, really. I send me water, anything. I saw me early be. Early be carry me go some place where me a DJ, where me no member. Nobody understand a word where we are saying. Yeah. So it was all white people down in Negril, Kaiser's Cafe. Won by a white man named Peter Kaiser. And I say, Early be, what is this? It was white. Them, them guy was international, long time. Mm. Yeah, it was only yellow man and, and Gregory Isaac could have do that. Go to Negril uh, 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 and go all three times a week because people know them. Nobody never know. We will take our time, roll ourselves in there till you can hear people talk about early day and super cat. They will come out in a big magazine called, it's a music magazine. That's when they know the industry really picking you up. Yep. We, we couldn't try to be nothing else. Mm. You know what I mean? So, you end up at Jammies. Yeah. Top Dog album yeah. complete. Yeah. Tune for the album a mash up place because Dead You Are Go Dead. Yeah. And Top Dog, I hit songs in them yeah. one rights. Yeah. yeah. And you say the big brother link you up and I say, well, go on. Come back for me in Jamaica now. So him sign me. Him sign me to Apache. Yeah, to film company, which is Wild Apache. Fly me back to America now. Seeing we was working with Columbia Records. That yeah. was Super Cat Company. We was doing a album named Good, The Bad, The Hugly and The Crazy. Yeah. Which it was me, Juna Demos, Nicodemus, and Supercat. Right? I remember I used to go to Columbia Record where I meet the Fujis. That time they was in the same segment as we. Like they just doing them thing to get out there. You see how they get big now and all them things. They, 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 them guys was there. We was even above them. You understand yeah. me? When I meet Puff Daddy and all them guys they, who used to buy lunch for the guy, the girls them up in the, 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 the Uptown Record. That, that was his work. Puffy was a dancer, right? I meet Puffy. I never remember meeting Biggie, right? Mm. Then I meet this guy named Sugar Dice from Uptown Record. Him tell Supercat one time to Cat, give me him, make me work on his career. Cat said, I have plans for him, you know. He wanted me to do a collaboration with a guy named Pete Rock and Seal Smooth. That was a big group. The, 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 the name of the song was Reminisce, some family business. He never got show, you know. Never got show. I meet this girl named Tara Liggs. She was from the movie named Bronx Steel. That's how I was meeting the people. I mean, and all of these people end up shoot out, leave me. That wasn't my world. I end up back in the dance hall. Mm. In, they love that. In Jamaica, yeah, where enough people might feel like say, if me not get to up on the big screen or upon the billboard or rare, rare. No, because me didn't really love Jamaica, you know. I remember me spent time at foreign and me do what me have to do. After the album drop and them thing there. We was um, doing promo. Mm. We, we would go to Manhattan, Wetlands and all them places just to sing free for people just to promote the album. We go to California to do the video and um, scalp them. If you look, you can see the video because it's, it's still up there with, with the four of us in the video, right? And all of that, 
them things there. Me never really watch that because it never really make a big impact for me. Like when me come back to Jamaica now and start to record when me meet people like um, Junior Reed. Junior Reed did come for me now and say, well, I want me to do some work and things. That's why me know so, well, things really are going on with Junior Reed. Some link up. Yes, and you know you was the jammings and it never work out and killer take over the spot now yeah. and jammings on full. You can't hate him because you're really left with your brother and thing now. The work like, is the work, a yeah, business. Yeah, it's business, mm -hmm. right? And we start work with Junior Reed now and Junior Reed, vice a tune with me name, come to Junior Reed. Tum, 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 till me start DJ. Um, for a whole heap of produce. I sing so much song, that's one of the time I look, I find myself with a hundred odd song. I don't remember who I sing the song them for, but it was a separation where if a producer have a rhythm and he have the money and you want the money, you have to have lyrics. Yes. Right? So we was just like going out every day, come to the studio, sit down and try to work. So if a man come with a rhythm, it's work. Mm. So how you come at work and you don't have no tool? Yes. We're ready for the rhythm and thing and it was nothing big. So by singing, singing every day, you end up with all these songs. And it wasn't even an album where we didn't make a album. Mm, it was just, just singles. some singles. We do a song for you, we do a song for that man, we do a song for that man. The bridging come, cat me have a rhythm, me a try a thing. Me was no artist, we have no manager where can say, yo, we have got through the manager, or me can't do it, I really, really. And a structure never did it really. No. <clears throat> See, and up till now, it's so we deal with it. Yeah. Like because I don't have a manager to say, well then this guy I do business with me. It's me do my business because reggae music <laughs> is my international or whatever they say. But in the game we into is hustling. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you can't play in a big star at the end of the day. You're hungry or you're broke. Yes. You understand me? Because the key to this thing is to make yourself comfortable. You're not for rich, you know. Because when Bob Marley did that thing, he never rich. And since Bob did it, did so much gold sure. come. Right? So sure. don't try to be like you are the man. You are not the man. Mm. Just make yourself comfortable, live and let others live because reggae music is a thing where the amount of money where you know you people are kill themselves, they can't do it. They yeah, can't do it. And it gets wider every day. But you know what's the problem? Crab in a barrel. Yeah. People in a music. Mm. Them sing song, but them in a music. Kind of music now in a yo. Yeah. So what kind of performance are you carrying on with now around here? That man here try to kill that man there. That man here try to kill that man there. That man here eat that man there. That man here eat that man there. So if we're poor, we live better. Yeah. But just because everybody get rich now. The Bob Marley not tell you, man, him, him, him said them keep us hungry. If you get some food, your brother have to be a worse enemy. He's ambushed in the night. You're not better than no man. Yeah? Prophecy. Don't care no bag where nobody have to hunt you for. Don't care the little amount where it can serve you and nobody have to ready you. Keep it in balance. A natural bag that you got with it, not extra. Yeah. yeah. I'll ask you a question, though, okay? Do you ever sit down and think and feel that you have lived in your brother's shadow? Um, at one time, I would think by trying to make a stepping stone, you are a brother, so brothers sound alike. Mm. I'm not trying to sound like Supercat, yes. that's natural me, right? But being fighting a struggle, if you don't have your own current, you're not going anywhere, you know? No light, no there. And which part me take it to my level and my own, you know. I know personal I did my work, you know. Yes. Now disrespect the super cat, you know. Yes. Because then me watch and do the thing. Mm. But then if you feel like you can push water over here, you have to have pump. And I, me deal the DJ business, like me go up on my own, go far. Go get toss up and get back out of Ask Brigadier, when you hear them man tell you say, he know him and the man. Mm. So watch an okay. There's there's you know, a, a chain of thought out in the street in some corners that even though a super cat might have the bigger name, mm -hmm. Juna Cat are the better DJ. Well, I wouldn't say that, you know, because them always say the apprentice come better than the teacher, but I wouldn't say that because you know why? Him cat has do him work, you know, and him do a good work, you know, because super cat have a whole heap of song, you know, he make a lot of hit song, you know, but mm -hmm. yeah, what a problem now is that cat leave the empire too early. Mm. Because when you leave Jamaica, go to America, you know, it's like the music not there, eh? but cats still make it song yes. from America. Mm -hmm. But the problem is that they never come back to set a pace. And I'm, that's a brother of Shabarankin there, you know, and I'm trying to tell them, you know, and I'm not trying to be biased. If you know anybody who live in America, 
for 25 or 30 years and they don't send them back. They're not coming back here to live. Yeah. They're not coming here to live. Yeah. That's don't don't back, make that's them true. tell you anything. America, they might talk about it's a comfortable place, relaxing place. When does the people go so? I quit them quick, man. This is it. Yeah. You understand me? They, so we can sit down and say, well, the man is done with music. But them now go to it like that no more. Carly said them did them job. Yeah. You understand me? I say? So we have to just give them respect and know. So watch out, them man I do it, you know. And me I try to do it. Because some it where them man they make, we never make them it song there. Eh? Yeah. So it's just we bubbling in the dance hall, same way now. We, we keep warm so it look like say. You bad and super can. When people tell me that I never try to feed into that, like, you know what I mean? So yeah. I just know, say, Juna Cat, you know your work, and he's a good DJ, and never you try to be greedy for credit. Yes. I try to be greedy for anything because the most I give you everything where you want, right? And too much are not not good, you know? Mm. So we are trying to show the man them say, every youth where the work around you deserve respect, and you cannot take no man respect mm. because the people them were by position, they never do nothing you understand yeah. me so when you buy a position when you come out how you defend it eh? you never train for it remember you know, ninja man you know ninja man is our friend and ninja man is a good dj but ninja man is a clash artist yes right enough people don't like clash sure some people love it because they like like excitement, excitement. right mm. when me and you clash today then tomorrow we don't talk you know, it no matter how much money you, you, you make, brother. When you, when you mash up a good thing, it's not something good because sometimes you have a good friend and if you even reach, you need somebody to talk to. And that's how it's going on. So if you even notice Bob Marley and the Wheeler, when they mash up the group, they take the lead singer, but they never take the group. So yes. it's, a, it's, a, it's a way if you split your party, you one another, and get to know, for eight to know one another. Mm. Right? But when we did poor, we used to live loving in you know, and the tree we smoke all one place. Yeah. And you have a Benz, you know, and me have a Lexus and a man have a BMW. And we don't like one another. Yeah. So is it better? Is, is it that we getting better? Yeah. Or are we getting worse? Eh? Mm. It can't work, brother. Did you ever record with Early B? No, we never no. did a song together. Mm, unfortunately, ain't it? Never did a song oh, together. Oh, come on, have no more collab with. Alright, so you and, and your brother the pan, the good, the bad. The ugly, the, but the we crazy. never have a collab. We have, we have a collab no, with the poor be, away. Right, because Nicodemus, yeah. Yeah. Junior Demos, yeah. you and Cat the Pan, the yeah. title track for the album. Yeah. How come we don't get no more collab between Junior Cat and Super Cat? I don't know, you know, because I was in the studio when even Evie D and Frankie Paul was doing Big Bad and We Large. I think I'm more or less I was too young or I never ready or what have you. That's why I forgot to prove myself for them listen back now. They say, yes, he was ready, he could have do it. Yeah. yeah. But you know what I mean? Is it is it is it is it teaching and 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 the, and and the way that they learn? It's like you did want to do your own thing because you feel you could have do it, but like people would have say, I know for them take up things from them head and them can't angle it. Now for mm. the youth, they never make it to true, but me never stop up till this day. Yes. Because if it wasn't we are going now with with the virus and all that thing, the jar would have called me tonight and would have done somewhere DJ. Yes. Our last was me, Joseph A. Lucy and uh, Admiral Tibek, up as um um. Up at Ocherias, that's how we named um, Rocky Hill. Rocky Hill. Rocky Hill, and, and it, w w was, it was a problem around there. Yeah, I'd be a big there. name that man. You understand me? So that, 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 that was the fees when we are traveling. I like if them say, well, then um, Peter Mitchell, General Trees, and all them man there, I go have a show. Yes. And them figure that, like, like, we need an next artist. A man can say, who we have a call? They would have called Ninja, because Ninja no robot up down here. Mm. So now Ninja is not here. A man has said, call Juna Cat. See, and we would have, would have go in, pan it, and you know, say, yeah, me, me I work yesterday so tonight, and me the monks, the fetch around them, and it look good because, remember, you know, when them man, you have big man and I bust the place, me now hold no mic yet, you know. Yes. And if you see me come and ride in the same car with them, it, me just feel, say, me doing good, and me I enjoy myself. Me not want to get in the other road now, down the road, where them say, oh, yeah, um, you, you get what you want now, so you can do what you want. I this me did want this, I this me I go always I do. So it no matter where people want to say you are idiot or you are fool or you are this and that. Me a bad man round here so. For music. Mm -hmm. So I the master you me a serve and I deal it one at a time. See so I me this. I could go back to Top Dog a little door. Um Junior. See? Yeah. Because the album was really your first body of work yeah. where really and truly conquer the, the masses. Where, where yeah? make me like make yes. people know me, you know? And mm -hmm. probably the biggest song on the album is Dead I Go Dead. 
No, Dead Are Dead wasn't on the album. It wasn't on the Daddy album. Dead Are Dead was Jan Jan Chon. Jan Jan Chon. The album was oh. Jamin's album. Oh. You understand me? The Top Dog wasn't, um, um, Dead Are Dead wasn't on the album. So what are some of the other songs that are on Top Dog? Where hit song? Songs like, um, Never show name Funeral Bag. Funeral Bag, yeah. Dog Art. Da- yeah. Original Dog Art. Uh, me never show pan. Here comes the bride. Rough and tough. Rough and tough. Right? That was a reality show. Mm. Me never. Um, it was, it was, was so much show. And yeah, what was the problem now? Them time. Me wasn't writing lyrics like on pencil and yeah, paper. You know. We were just go, coming go, up our head as dance hall DJ. We used to DJ in the dance. Yeah. I, I saw me end up building the album, you know. And then now, after that now, we build the album. Jan Jan called me back now with the rhythm. Them have Shabarank in it pan the rhythm, Bounty Killer it pan the rhythm, but nobody never sing a gun song on the rhythm. Mm. It's called um, Where Shabba Say Love Pun on the Bad. And Bounty mm. said, The girl, them all up. You remember? Yes, man. And we come to the tune pan it, yeah. um, shot man in front of the station. And it's bust for New York. Yes. Make me bigger. See? It? Yeah, I got New York, I lock up in the studio, me and John Holton, I'll tell you, I sing dub place, I use me in Twin Tower from Jersey, man. I've looked into myself again and said, these two men that I'm here with, it's something all right. Yeah. Oh, me getting, and, and the guy would say to me, um, I want John to sing and you to DJ, and then Alton go and come inside, it's combination. Yes. You understand me? Big dub play that I do. Yeah, so I tell him, man, I <laughs> m- m- get some, some run where I where m- m- can't ball and say, I just never make no big hits for no big yes. billboard, but down here in the underground. Yes. I do it, man. That's a whole heap of song out there, yeah, no, brother. Man, you understand? It, Top man. Dog, Machine Gun, Kelly. Whole heap of um, Warzone and Gun Mouth, the whole of them songs. Yeah. It's when people send for dub, that's what I tell you. I was by friend Surreal doing some dub, and he used to say to me, say, Cats some more work coming in and up on the line there. And I said, I would do that show here. Yeah. Um, he said, I show him, uh, bring my guns, come. Mm-hmm. You understand me? The show name, um, um, Flap with them nearly. But you can't fly down like Pichiri. So I said, so most of the time some song come in, people would feel like I'm singing Super Cat song. Mm. Right? And that's when me still could have their own and now because people try it, you know, like a man say, hear me now, I have some good money for you, you know. I'm going to do some Super Cat double If I do one, I wouldn't be no Juna Cat. I would be a Super Cat shadow. So I wouldn't even want a more Juna Cat because we can't get Juna Cat to sing the Super Cat. Yes. So you are just a Super Cat, um, what do call it? Um, robot. <laughs> Yeah. So you're all your own job. I never do it and the money was good too. I never do it. it. Yeah, enough time then hear things come in like somebody and mess around. They would think it's me. Yes. If you know Kat and you know me, you don't know the voice them. Different. It's different. Yes. I mean similarities are there, yeah. but the voice them different. They are different. Mm. Right? So by me trying to do that all in my own. By leaving this guy 200,000 and take 10,000 for sing one of my songs because they are not expensive like the other one. <laughs> so I'm satisfied with my look. Yeah. Thing. So come still there, you know. Makes sense, brother, yeah, brother. People that with us know, sir. Makes him, sense. Him, him, him Paul. Um, no real. Then they got dead also go by the name. How would I let you go? How would I let you go? See, me a bigger piece of it. All right. Man, to play by the king of love Zala, got some love Zala, bring keep your bubbling and chicken till the morning with your fat or your slim rag of muffin tuna get on the microphone talking. Boy, I did you want to go then? When I did the general bulletin on your weather, dope it, when I dope it, then I did you want to go then? When I ramp with bad man bullet down in your weather, dope it. We did a go let you go. If you never did the program, we did a go let you go. We have to broke your foot and pop your one. We did a go let you go. Drop them in a sinking sand. We did a go let you go. You not cut the pan the version. Well, any time the one you bang the wall, of them are dead, man. Don't give me way, me drop the bomb. You like me, lad, no one saw them. Mad! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's so, well, sit down right there, sir, and we're out there, so open, and it's yeah, on like, man, I tell you, man. at the CD, me, I listen so to brother. So we can't get for go out there, go DJ you now, and yeah. it affect me, because you know what I'm now, you see the real musician, them, we really make them happy, it's not in the money where you get them, you know. Yeah. No case, your man, I feel pain, just turn on the mic and turn on the rhythm. You ready? Yeah, man, I feel glory that you like Tyson, no came out and you lick him down, a boxing him deal I with. I feel thing, yeah, then. Yeah, just set up at the ring, him ready again, No. Yeah. With what go on around here now, with Corona and them things, they know just Corona affect people, you know. They say the artists, them, them are tech sick. They cannot afford to sit down and now go do nothing. And then people have them built to pay and all them way there. And then now, 
If them are issue out anything against people, they're not the musician. Yeah, they must say, you have money. They yeah, have yeah, money. You have watch about the last job, come back and them say no crowd. But they must say, amount of money you make with money, you make, man, you're good, man. No, because how oh, we live with money now, we don't live with self alone. You come to the studio and you sing a dub plate. You make 10 grand, you don't walk out like the other guys. If you drop down on the street, somebody will take you up. You look out for the poor people them first, and then you look at you, will always survive. Yes. Some man pack up a whole of money and go with it. I'm waiting to mash up himself. It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> Where you go with that? Yeah. You understand me? Yeah, it's, it, if you can roll it, it will roll you. Because yeah. you just think, if you do something, because I have money. You know, do something last night. And yeah. we have interest, you have a rest today. And yeah. then you have more energy for work tomorrow, you will enjoy the money. Mm. You have money and your face, I go down in a hole and all them things, you start to look like you're sick. You know, enjoy your money. You have a mm. problem, man. Yes. Of all the places that you have traveled to do, cat. Yeah, because even before your boss you had to take on yeah. your fly. Yeah. And you would have gone to many places to perform. Yeah. yeah. Outside of Jamaica, where's your favorite place to perform? Well I'm in love in, 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 in Europe, you know, because I, mean, I tell you it's one thing with them, you know, they don't European people they don't smoke and drink in the venue, you know. Clean. I noticed that, you know, them come smoke and drink so them come for dance. Yes. And then dance and then you now if if it's a music I play and your wheel you turn them off. They want the whole Oh, them do now, they dance. And when the music done, yeah, yeah, then you hear them clap or they uh, make noise because they find so the music cut. In Jamaica, you have a dance and a guy lean up and the next guy attack to him, friend and a man around there. So they not come and dance. Yeah. Europeans don't do that. We come about music. So whatever you are saying, say tomorrow. <laughs> and them dance till them sweat. I mean, I said, they're not some music nice. nice. I mean, so them people don't fuck like man. Yeah. So they make it look like I don't know. Throw it up that side. Yeah, throw it up that side. Yeah, man. Throw it up that side. Yeah, see how them near me to park it up. Them mm. people don't suck Clyde. Europe thing then. Biggest a rubber dub a player and a guy stay standing man. Him friend a reason. And I say, oh, what is? The next man and nine pack it round him. I say, eh. People that play that out, them man. Yeah. When them come a dance floor, them say man, them cannot dance so good some of them, but them a move and them, them take time and learn it. For all the stages you have walked on, Junior. Where's the biggest stage in your opinion where you walk and when you see that crowd there, you say, yo, I can't make them come for see. Yo. In, in Brixton Academy. Yeah? Juna Cat, Juna Reed, and it was the first show for Scare Them Crow. Yeah. Mm. I, I, talk to I, I was like a opening up for the show, but yeah? Yeah, it was my friend Keith the Show. A youth from Cockburn Pen near Phantom. Keith the Show. So I was there in England at Phantom Place and Scare Them was there and Juna Reed was there. But what was so excited was the night of the show. It, oh, Brixton Academy setup is like a race ass thing like because you know, everybody into a room like a starting gate, you know. Would count up number one, number yeah. two, number three. So you can't wait to get out the car, you hear the rumbling and the crowd and rare and thing after the people have done fix it up and thing with all this big jacket suit and People buy your things, them and they understand me and the whole of respect of Cockburn Pen DJ and you know whole of people from Cockburn Pen there England and whole of people from Painland get aside. So them know me from them time there and you know what I mean? See them look at Juna Cat from a jar or come back again and, and I tell you the night when they when they call me out, I, I'm gonna come out, me the DJ I show near them call me Mr. Mirage. Yes. Right? And I say, when me say, me nah, can't trust no girl, yeah, for them we want. Shot me cold blooded and raw. Now nah, follow R. Kelly and go do it raw. 10,000 girl underneath Eagle Claw. Same thing did happen to the one ten I saw. Same thing come on to early D. The doctor. What a la 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 la. Maybe the police just come down because we say, now nah, follow R. Kelly and go do it raw. You know the time the R. Kelly did have some <laughs> farmer. Did, yeah, man. Yeah, me, I tell you, I don't know what I say, but the way the place come down. Yeah. And then I'm going to my thing, them now and thing, and, you know? I mean, I tell you, say, you see, when the man them play back the, 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 the tape of the show, yes. that's when my head swell when me hear the whole. And the man said to me, say, yo, at Brixton Academy, that you out, and I like America alone, I listen to you. Yeah. The whole of Germany and England, I listen to you, the thing gone, and you know. From them time, they me never forgot, say, my work in a Brixton Academy. I think they close it down now. Mm. My artists never work on them venue there, you understand me? Yeah. And I never go to go laugh. Yeah. My brother, that was a Dennis Brown, the Gregory Isaac, the Alton Ellis. That, that was to them place when they got to England. It was a big place that was upstairs, downstairs. Mm. You know? And that's when I really find out, say, you know, there's an international thing about this DJ thing with, 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 with the cat thing. 
when, when you look on Junior Cat catalog, a whole heap of gun song in the catalog. Yeah. Yeah. Zane? Yeah, yeah. And most of the songs them is a war vibe type of song. During yeah. during a journey of the music. You want any artist ever have any lyrical feud, confrontation, clash on stage? Yeah man. Yeah? Yeah man. Holy heap of time, man. Yeah? Holy heap of time my artist clash on stage, man. I am a ninja man a friend and I a ninja clash, you know. Oh in the clash. It was like when it start out, him, 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 him just he say, you know, say, it at all hard for yeah. me and Jonah Cat for Clash. But it's like, you could have known it yourself, say, well then, something not right. Yeah. But I never even care because I'm ready for go at it too. Yes. So it's enough time to jump off. I, I remember one night with the Ocheria, right? so we have a show, Jonah Rick, the show, Cat Owen show. And it was me, Jonah Reed again, and Ninja Man. And Ninja pull us down. <laughs> and then I reverse it back so some shot fire and some leaves jump off of the tree and thing and it become fun and it done again. One night me and the fisherman beach I watch it again and reverse earth again and thing and me and Shrimp said, No, I wrong way, I'm going to send it back down so and thing and it, you know what I mean and we drop yeah. back a tune and thing and fumes up and it cold up back yeah. and thing. And I remember one night I was in Cactus Nightclub, was Dele Rankin Burt night. I test a tune name, wrong place at the wrong time, I just hear blood out. Who are going to save them now? And um, the remember the, the, Sean Paul Pam right are dead, they're dead now. Silver Cat and Alicat, them chop up like Bull Cow, Red Rat and Black Rat, Jap, and I chop for each other, tap all them soul, them a swap. Um, and me bond on wire and I run a wire like then a bad like me get a dog. What's just saying it as a lyric? Kill her didn't like, no kill her didn't did the club. <laughs> Why I've been there, you know, and do my thing, you know, when I leave, you know, my brother look at me and said to me, say, yo, in there, tear down, you know, because I kill her up on the stage you now and thing, and like, I'm ready for you, you know. Yeah. Come. And me, I said, nah, man, nah, I do my part already, you know. I said, yeah. just buy a new car, man, you tell a DJ busy more and drive, you know, because I me, 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 me don't know about cats. I'm not afraid of the kill her, Julia. No, we're not afraid of nothing, man. It's yeah. just like, me do my part, and I yeah. was there doing it, and you was there. Can't so get you, dark when you see it. It should have come. That's what I'm not like with most of the artists. They, they don't straight no, nothing in front of your face, but okay. they will kill you behind your back. Yeah. So if me did just DJ and run, I could understand. So the man never get no time, man, for you run too fast, man. We was there, and since you never come, me do my part. So go and go do your part. That's a cause problem, you know. Can you do your work, man? Make the man go and go do him work. Yeah. And then, now, you understand me? It was filmed down there. Oh, so. things between you and the killer, though. Well, if I tell you, you know, me and Bounty Killer is like good, 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 good friend, you know. Yeah. It was a vibe, and me, as I tell you, when me did their jammings, and killer come did, there. Yes. It's like a made of the mic, you know. Mm, yeah, and then, man, I can't tell you, I made of the mic mm, when it comes there, you know. Yes, that's a true, man. That's a true. When I did your tune, sir. Ready, Bob. Do you not get gun full of shot? Boy, I'm move all your mama going tremble and drop. Look like you're up. And, 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 and we kill a vibe. Yeah, I've not, man. Go, go back around the song because me was like a man with most. Yeah, because of the SCM melody, man. You yeah, when yeah, that's where the DJ sang and off the show. Now they are till jamming that Jan Jan said, Come, and when me go in there, me never have not line up until them play the rhythm. Yeah. See, so when me was doing all iron gloves the night, at night time, they might bring me, or well, late night, so they already put on, and they might say, Where am I going to say now? So when me I say, I never want to go to them, I wonder, Where am I say? Where am I get this from? You understand me? I say? Yeah. So it's just something you come up with because you try to do something. I never have no lyrics right. Mm. Like, I didn't have no lyrics, but Killer was a writer. Yeah. So you couldn't compete with them, right? But I was all, all of the rhythm, them, same the way, same, same way, way mm. too. So, me and Bunty go at it, go at it, go at it, go at it, go at it for a while till Super Cat get involved now. Because if anybody should clash, it was me and Killer. Yes. When Cat them get involved, so everybody said, no, it don't look good because it's, it's the two of them is like two younger youth, so yes. better them it clash. So, anyway, me was like out of it, right? Them take it over down there, so they might go and do them thing. And I don't remember what happened, you know, but me and Killer never attack, you know. Yeah. Me and Bunty never attack. Till one, one night, my member mean I ready, ready. And I got through, you know, like you're going out, and the place was so ram up, so I end up into a jam around there, and a guy there tell me, You cannot go through here, you know. And I say, Where may I go go through? If I can't go through, I say, Where may I go? So it was getting away now, and think I'm here, like somebody said, I want to, man. It was Bunty Killer talking to the guy. Yes. I said to him, say, You know the man? And he said, No, so Killer said, Move out of the man, we man. <laughs> I met the man come through yourself. So while me was going through now, killer hug me. Mm. And think I'm embracing back and things. So it's like him I say, I eat this, you know. Everything balanced. You understand me? Mm. And I never remember from after that. Me and Bunty Killer pass each other. And no, the no way. Yeah. And, I, and the last time I remember I see him was down by Wappins down Catburn Pen there. I was, was seeing place. You understand yeah. me? And them them DJ there. 
a hardcore DJ. Well, if you was a veteran DJ and try to go up to any local youth, where have him thing, like, you will look like a fool. Mm -hmm. So it was just a respect for me, see me in the work with me, the same way people would understand, say, no, but cat and I eat that night and rare and thing, you understand me? So we'll just leave it down at that. Yeah. So, now DJ never really like, like those run up on me like that. I remember one time I was at um, La Rose, Stone of 25th anniversary, I was coming from Canada, me and General Trees, Jamins versus Scorpio. Yeah. Me have a DJ Scorpio and a tree sound, but Jamins was saying that the two DJ theme DJs, so Scorpio have a DJ theme sound himself. <laughs> so Scorpio said that's not right because two yeah. DJ come, one for you and one for me, and you one are carrying the two man, them, so you're two DJ mm. them. Alright then, no problem. Fly back to Jamaica, and, you know. Stone of anniversary for me in the dance. Yes, I'm there, there and think I'm here. So I remember me here, GT Taylor say, This will go down in Guinness Book of History in a Juno Cat versus Sean Paul. So I said, Why am I telling you? I said, Why am I telling you? Why not pay it in my mind? Because I tell you, we was not afraid of nothing. Yes, it was a yeah. win or a lose. Yeah. That's how we look at it, you know. It was a win or a lose. So we was not afraid, like, Yo, I'm not going to go up there. We love DJ business. So yeah. I'm not going to lose, I'm coming. And. Then they them say it again. I was GT Taylor and Weepo on the stage. So it was something was said. Me no know nothing about it as me tell me I come from Canada. Yes. When I go on the stage, I see Sean Paul and his brother that I want named Luga Man. Luga. I mean, me and Paul are friends. Yeah, Don't get me wrong. I yeah. me, me know him before him bust and thing. Me used to sing dub plate for the same price and with a combination and we'll bust the money up at that one. Yeah. So it's just bigness. And when I go up on the stage, I notice him, at, you know, like when he's in a boxing ring. And him brother did it behind him and think some sick cat, this one look good, you know. Them mm -hmm. boy look like them are going right here after tonight, and you know, I eat this for you, sir. Yeah, man, so let it be, you know, I have a liquor bottle and I put on the liquor bottle because I say, this is serious business, yeah. this is boxing ring with microphone. Yeah. So I'm draw rhythm now, my rhythm I'm draw. Love put on the bad I'm draw two names. Oh man, no one, no bait. So I say, wait, where my fake? Because I'm supposed to be a clash. Because the man him said it, I mean, I know about it. Yeah. All right, I draw two names. I'm not left your gun, yeah, yeah. The people have never know the tune, so it's not move the people in too much. Yes. I'm draw, put on the rhythm and draw two names from a girl now up to date with the put yeah, them. Yeah. So I draw the tune now. I say, Paul, I love you, I respect you. But listen to me. This is big people, something. So I say, hello, come from Portmore, met me soon, no animals might take him. <laughs> him start shit the night. So from that it was like me do something wrong in you know, a brother. But remember me telling you yeah. as you you know, you come from ghetto and you know, people are throw stone, you know. And you're not throw back stone, man. you look like a fool, you know. Mm. Because the man then beat you up. So tomorrow some more man I got beat you up. I I a beaten stick. Yeah. And why well, go 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 the night then thing, you know? And I remember from that it was like every time it's like me do something wrong. But it was me call a clash. Yes. And it was me the one who started it because yeah. me was having power like it a brother work, yeah, work. to me, like you understand me? And that's how it work off and most of the people I mean I'm not afraid for telling the general. It's DJ business, you know. Make people like me and it's mostly a stranger might like you. Because people are really like artists, they like their music. But the super cat them really rate. Mm. You hear me? Yeah. So it's not like you're around you and feel like you'll get handled. You work for that. Yes. Whatever happened to Juno Cat, him work hard, you know. Yeah. And the greatest thing about it, him still there too. Yeah. Speaking about there too, of all the songs that you have done, Junior, which song would you say has done the best for you financially? Make the most money for you? You see the song when you, um, whatever they call it, Killing P. Yes. It's not really my song, you know. And your song? No, it's Nicodemus' song. Yeah. Nicodemus used to come out of the movie named Scarface. Where Scarface said, I kill communists for fun, but for a green card, I carve him up real nice. So Demos would say, we, 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 you know what I mean? We, we kill. You understand me? Yeah, but, but just a people, man. Yeah, but we know yeah, why people right? already there. So <laughs> I used to par with Demos. Mm. And I don't forget to tell you, I, I, I like the song. Yeah. You know? So I start DJ the song now. When we start say, ah, low love, we kill them, we kill them for fun. Mm. It's not even a big song on 45, but yeah. for Sound Clash, yeah. Sound Man, it's and the song. Song. So I end up singing the song and dub play it. Back to back, back to back, everybody come like the song. You understand me? Yeah. So I would call it a tribute to Nicodemus, but it's not a big song on 45. It's really an underground it's song. It's an underground song. In the streets. My biggest song now, when we would say, we're, we're out there, is it's, 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 it's a gun song. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. 
Iron Gloves are dead over there. Those are the two songs where, yes. where Mick Jr. get a special in America. Yeah. And people can tell that Wolf of Reality song, sing, not yeah. from me alone, never registered. A like how they, people, they, they would register back a gun song from the time of General TK, Dirtsman and Panhead. Yes. There was some good song there that never play, like the gun one. Yes, the Killing P. Yes. May I want you to change the original P word to people and give me peace, yeah. you know? Killing people. Yeah. But, but I mean, the people dead again. So it was so much song. Yes. People dead again, different from, from, from killing. From the Yemen, yeah. you know, people yeah. dead again, and different Yeah, song. different song again, mm. you know. So there was someone dead there, they feel like we was killing people. And that's why you have to ease off because the DJ, they come down, not only a DJ, a gun song, the man had them gone. So you say, man, they might leave the music, yeah? Yeah, the man, they might leave, they, they, they must serve two masters. Like, you cannot get the glory of reggae music and still get the glory of a gangster. You have to choose one. which one you want. You understand me? And that's why I cause a problem now where a guy can still dig out of music and you still gonna go to prison. Are your next master around here, so? so you mean Valve night, right? So you have to just humble yourself, control yourself and be yourself. So, yeah, I say no you alone love reggae music, gonna make me so no one. Ba dang bang bang. All over hear the music, put up on one. Wanna hear me? Killing people, we kill them for fun and 20 grand and my rents off my gun and Send them come by the gun and the ground and Junior cat has to last the ice on Forensic evidence is not so necessary Why we take them and go show them which part body bury If you around and see if you are somewhere close to ferry Tie up lawyers and doctors and secretary Why we drop down the badness not the military If them this digital world and some that roll like cherry Will it? Mad! <laughs> yeah, that the people <laughs> want you roll and then them pass So you mash up the place with gun Yeah! Yeah, yeah Reality tune where I don't know yes. anything and forgot about certain things. Yeah, change of a thing. We don't sing no gun tune from where they again. Yeah. No, no gun tune. We don't sing no gun tune from where they again, man. We make the youth them do that now because we're a big man. Elder. Yeah, they Elder Statesman. Yeah, because people will like it, you know. Mm. But what them say, you know, if anything should happen to you down the road, then play back your song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure. I said, you know, I, I see there, I saw a thing set, I saw a set it. You understand, Gary? So why not you play the good one and say me do that one here too, yeah. you know? So I never like you did involve to the end. We never know what go on when I think I singing gun song and I like where I say people for dead are kill people, you know. Who does I say a bad man song? And that the people they want here. Yeah, when it when mm. it break out now, they must say, man I kill people and I'm man. It wasn't music I call all of that. The people they must kill on them own. Music yes. becomes dance all now where a man I kill a sound. Yes. So the tune becomes dub plate. True. You understand me? But society now look on that because you sing say you cut off the boy head and you shook something in my heart. So it, it looks like say you yeah. not kill people, but you tell them how to kill people. We never think that, that way. We yeah. never really... I was just music. Yeah, because people, we are making gun song now. them evil and we. Yeah. Listen so to yeah, the, so the man we are making gun song them now, I leave the music, brother. No, the man we are kill people. I tell you plain how people dead. You never okay. kill nobody. You just try to be rough boy like you say, oh, me a bad man. You a bad man for the song. Yeah, but not in real life. Yeah, it's even gun tune I make the money, I do enough. Mm. You understand me? So measure good and bad, just try the more good, more than bad, you know, because it's good, bad is not really bad about you, you might make two dollars out there. Money can't help you when the day comes. Yeah. You need that blessing, so you, you know what I mean? So that's why we're still there and I try to show people, so I know where them think, you know, because them think we're out here and live this evil life. Sometimes it comes down from where we find out, so true, we come this far now, it rests by your shoulder. Where you go do? Turn four. Yeah. I, I go around your son and tell you, them, I listen to you, tell them get some gun. Mm. Everybody arms up. True. And you did start it in a general. So the end of the day, if you say not here. Are you responsible I, for it? It'll come back to your kids then. Mm. you did start it. So start something good then and leave it and see if them are living. I'm going to Bob Marley pick them up. Even know him at all. <laughs> Bob Marley never par with artists. Notice when Bob Marley, about Bucky Marshall, you see and Claude Massa. Yeah. You understand me? Because reggae is, 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 is rebel. Yes. You don't try to be a pretty guy, you cannot be a reggae, you're not going to get any respect. He's yeah. a rebel, run that, son of a gun, the jump, heartbeat, control people and be true to them. Nobody yes. bring them in and then now you turn them out back. Yeah. So, so the people my deal boy, you know, money, everything, you know. So once I get the money, I have a chat to you again, you know. It's not good. Yeah. And I can't leave you, you know. And just leave you with a whole lot of judgment and you feel like you're cold. Yeah. But it's Juna Cat's biggest achievement as a musician so far along the journey. That thing that you look back on. You smile and you say, yeah, may I achieve that something there? Ah, that's a good one, you know. Well, the biggest achievement, the Juna Cat, is this name that I make, which is not even me give myself the name Juna Cat. It was Juna Demos meeting me in a dance hall one night. 
And every time give me the mic, he must say, the man say, Mr. Dax, come here. He must say, Juna can't because he's done name, Juna Demon. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, and me. I work this name and bring it to a distance where I can live off of it. Where I never even have to do certain things again, like, oh, me that girl get away. DJ biz never work for me. Me am out there trying to make car, I'm going to see go fishing tonight and not, not catch. And you'd have it rough and hard. But I'm not telling a lie, I'm not the biggest and the baddest DJ or the best DJ, but it does work for me where I can finance myself. Put food on the table. And then, yeah, I'm fine, food and them things there. And then, no, as I tell you, say, I never tell you how much kids I have, but I have a whole heap of kids where the whole of them might not be in Jamaica, but whoever is here is under my responsibility. Yeah. You are responsible for them till they leave her, not to them get big. Mm. That's the meaning of a father. Yeah. And not for my youth, them. But I don't even get to know some of them, you know. And I don't afraid to tell you, you know. Most things happen because we was youth and we never know. Give thanks we still have life here. We can mend it so and try to make it better. That's why I tell you about the gun song and the bad and the good. Yeah, what you know, Jude? I mean, I teacher by profession, you know. I like specifics. Yeah. You say you have a whole heap of youth still. The, then, yeah. based on your recollection and your account, how much youth is a whole heap of youth? Well, you know, I have about 26 kids, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I just have a youth born April 21st on my birthday. <laughs> son, that's bad. So I wasn't killing people and if people killing people life, yeah, man. giving life is not you doing it, it's powers of the most I so it must be a blessing. When? You know what guy wants to get a girl pregnant and it never happens. So she gets pregnant with the other guy and she comes back. Give thanks, you get something. But you never really <laughs> do nothing, you understand me? I say so. twenty six kids do yeah, Julia. Yeah. How many baby mothers? Well, I forgot. Really, caught it. Uh, I go back on myself. Some guy would have lied to you, and then when him check him, find same lies. Yeah, I don't lie to you. I tell you the truth. I appreciate the truth, brother. Yeah, you know what mm. I mean. My first baby mother there in England, you know. I mean, I two baby mother in America. You understand me? I have four baby mother in Jamaica, yeah. You understand? I don't know who's gonna be the next one, but I'm not with that <laughs> relationship yeah. right now because of music. Junior, every artist. Whether before them enter the business or when they're in the business, them set different goals, yeah, for them and objectives for themselves. Is there anything we to achieve musically yet? We are still hope to achieve. Yeah, because to be truthful, you know, if you're in a, um, any job or any game, you know, you'd like to be successful or you know, yeah, go to, to the, the top. top. I've been doing. Yeah, I would like, I would like to. Um, Make a, 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 a big hit song where we can have Christian people listen to it too. Where the music won't be no bad, have no reggae, have no hip hop, or nothing. Just it's, music. It's just music, right? Because music now have no bounding or no borders, you know. Yeah. So if people say this, you know, them have reggae tongue and them have trap music, it's nothing like that. Yes. You see, a border, them have building boundaries, you understand me? So they, they, why are you chopping up the music? You're chopping up the fans. Yeah. So I know everybody are gonna like this and everybody are like that. So we want to have a, a selection of music. We go right across the board. Where if today they feel like playing at the church, they can play it. I still can play yeah, it and dance, dance all tomorrow. And if the shot of them one, them can play it too. So you have, if oh, you have like key, everybody can yeah, sing. you have all the variety of the spice in it. So that means nobody out there where you can say you never power. know you in a your time. Maybe, maybe the kids may come now, now don't know as you, but in a your time mm. you did get glory, and that's good because you don't want to waste your time around. You're not bad no member you. Yeah. If you were to no. redo the musical journey to a junior, is there anything you then do differently? Do you have any regrets so far along the journey? No, I know. Not really. I can't ball, you know. Yeah. I can't ball, you know. The only problem where we say, we would I want to be more international? If Junior Cat wasn't no. doing music, what career, what profession out there would, would, would you see yourself in? That, that's something you say. You know me then take on that thing. You mentioned being a mechanic earlier still. I don't know. Is there something else out there than music yeah. where you think you then devote yourself to? It's like it would have to be something like a forgiving talent where you know you get an in band concept for me. As a youth now, as I show you from younger, from a master, um, construction work or whatever it be. I did have some friends who make life out of fishing business. Yeah. I used to watch them go out with boat at night time and come in back with fish and these people are people living in a good house and a good vehicle and all them things there. Now fishing business wouldn't be so comfortable for me now because you have to go out there for water and all them things there at night time. So God bless me with reggae music and me can go out on a plane and go to America 
and go, go eat food. All me have to do child for next youth. Yeah. You see me I say? Because the youth them might have more education, more than me, they'd have harder job. Mm. So it, it, it's easier now for you to help a youth and then now if him help team family and, and each one help one. It it will more easier because certain jobs you can't help nobody, you know, you have to just try to help your pick me or help your woman, you know. When you get your pay a week time, you can't give your mother nothing, you can't give your friend nothing. If you travel to America, you can't bring a shoes to them. You can't go to a country where things are going on cheap to where you do that in Jamaica. You work for five grand. That can't carry you back at work for the week with bus fare. So for so, Jordan Cat, I just music. Boy, I'm give thanks to my brother, I tell you, you know, I can't ball for yeah. music because the best is there to come, so it's still not over. And we are on the journey the same way. We are just asking the most high God to help you and guide you. And we have to know say words is what bring you to where you want to go. Because if copyright will pay you, you not going to pay for the words where the people have registered already. Mm. So try to find some Something words new. yourself yeah. where you can get that dollar, right? So everything yeah. where people are doing now is sing over. No matter you hear them a guambo artist bus, it's the same old melody and the same old lyrics them come and play with. It's not coming to the table of lately. So I'm saying, like, God bless the youth, them, how they do the thing and a, and a, and a, and a, and a go on. Some of them are do them own thing, brother. What has Jonah Cat been up to recently? Well, I'm here trying to in me that I just like um to do some some production with all some of them because you tell most of them ask me, Cat, um you, you can't give me a blay and all them things there and I can't DJ and all them here there and, and I say me, I'm not producing and them things there. And there. They, yeah. they keep seeing me sometimes and bother me and things. And most of them with me coming to Marvin Place, mm. you know. It's down there so we are staying out on Exodus. It wasn't a recording studio, it was a dub studio. And I come here and thing and me and Marvin have all the vibes and thing, you know what I mean? And one time me and the studio and Big A come in there and thing and he never knew me and he said to Marvin, said, Marvin, I do not get that and the man said, yeah, the man said, Vice man, if a vice man, they can Marvin have a project that come out from the death in the arena with Sizzler and not. The project was already set to go yes. out, right? And he said, all right, more and something to catch. And he said, it's him and Garnet Silk son, more and to vice. Garnet son said, he never liked the rhythm. I never want some me and Tibet mm. end up doing oh, okay. it, right? Yeah. And, 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 and when it gets away, it's like we find out that we was wasting so much time. Yes. Now record song. You understand what I say? I love it. So, it's possible so you might take on some production now in the future. Help some youths. Well, that's what I want to because me and my own kids have me like them a DJ to you now. Family. Yeah, but blood, me, in me, blood. Them a DJ and I say, what am I do? I wonder if they know so they used to tell me so this thing is too hard for me. Yeah. And all them are DJ you now, them will need me to tell them what to do or to help them with them thing. Them yeah. that I go so rrrr, rrr, rrr, mm. and I say, wow. I can't make it so hard for them like if I know the road, then I go make them go out there now, figure waste them time. They can't take time to help them a little step out of the way. If you do a thing too, mm. and say, well then, all right then now. Me introduce to the world. Yeah. So nobody never knows. No. So if it's ten people like me, five might like them. You can't say me never do nothing for you. You understand what I say? So it's a blessing. Same way where you don't come round here, come do as you like and don't do nothing for the music after all of the music do for you. Yes. Saying that's why reggae music has struggled, because people take out of the music and do a put it back. I know for them now why we talk certain things, you know, because most of the money will come out of reggae going to construction, they don't go back to reggae. So it's a struggling business, but it never falls down, right? So you can't fight righteousness. Try leave it safe and sound so other youth can come live, brother. Yeah. Don't mash up nothing. So Juna is in the studio, still working, still recording. Yeah, man, you know, Anything that, recent? Yeah, man. Me there, I record the same way, man, because right now, I have a tune that's released with me a youth and green, you know, in the East Coast and West Coast. It's a theme album, mm. right? I have songs in the studio right now where Marvin has production in there. That's when I'm ready. I'm can, we have a dub plate album in there. Yes. Where anytime that touch road, we don't have to sing again for front of stage show. And we can just stay in the studio and just do a thing and go home. Because we are singing dub plate and album. We are sound man can do a dub plate. I'm not the money for doing it. Just buy this album. You have 15 dub on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not stop Real working. Business move. Yeah, because I come out and I do not I feel good. Why yes. I sing now, it makes me feel comfortable. Like it exercises me and relax me. So yeah. still working, food is yeah, on the yeah, table. Some brother, we are new tune out there right now yeah. because we are thinking and I say, wait, cat, remember them tune that play with them get all it up. Mm. Where are the people and feel like you know the lyrics are what what go on? No one we professional now, that's when they hear it. People just know personally say. No more waste of time, you know, brother. And uh, forever you have around here, you know. Yeah. Just lock it down now. And step where make somebody come mm -hmm. deal yes, Is there any artist in the business who you know work with it collaboratively who you then probably appreciate the opportunity for going to the studio to voice with? 
Yeah, man, that whole part artist, man. Give me just a couple of names, man. Well, you see, we um, me, me used to do dance hall with Cocotino. I mean, I had my Cocotino for a long time as yes. a dance hall singer. And me, me watch how him really motivate himself with his career and things. Otherwise, for music, is a man who live a life, have a family. Mm. And him have an international career. People listen to them, man, they like white yeah, man. people. Well respected, man. Admiral Tibet. Admiral. Yeah, he's the next man who touch people again. Real yeah, general. Family. Yeah, so mm -hmm. if me could I get now, feel like me, you know, so well, then me have a album and me have a collaboration with all of these men. Colonel Joseph Wheel is mm -hmm. the next man who have the road for himself. Brigadier Jerry, these people, these people who have them fans. You understand? So it's mostly me? from your ear, I'm your ear, though, cat. No, 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 well, I think he must have gone back to the country, you know, because yeah. he sent me a youth, you know. No. Yeah. Wasn't there a situation where they must have said, what, Super Cat Nevia? No, no uh, family. They're not family? No, oh, okay. Oh, okay. You know. mm. All the points, I patch the scratch of them, come from the same place, I sent me a high gate. People used to always think we're family, because Indian thing. Yeah, Indian thing for sure. Yeah, and you kind of have a junior cat, Super Cat type of vibe, ah. type of flow to for sure still. Yeah, but what the problem is now, we did down left and it did rough. Mm. And the dance hall. Them youth here come now and like it. So when I try to show them, say, you see, the roughness make you good because if you for, for, for going to see and ride already, it's not going to start again, you know. Yeah. Because you train for that already. One time when you go buy some music, you all are trembled to you. You can't make no mistake. When you when go, no, something in the lyrics, some people are say, as we're working back ourselves, I'm fine. So just yeah, go in there and make the man. Just go in there and make the man play the rhythm. <laughs> yeah. And you listen to the rhythm and say, and then you might have a man where we say, all right, cat, say so. And say this, and then four more men in there, and the man say, You said this, and you said, Can music? I'm going to write a song. I'm not even right, because you cannot go sit down by yourself and make song. Yeah. Because you will have a problem, because music is something where a man have to tell you, say, No, man, that's not right. Mm. Or don't you not right. Right? So you need people in it. Yeah. But we never write no song. We have build a song. So all are we in the studio? Yeah. And the man say, All right, say, We love you. And the man say, Say so, and, and, and that man again next line, and that man, the song done. Come together. You understand me? So it's just that with music sometimes, people just feel like, say, well then, if you don't have a song right out, you are not a professional. Enough man, Mr. Bill sang pan spot. Yeah. And, and the song Enough hit, man just go in and boot, go, go meds, man. I mean, the song mm. hit to and turn number mm. one song. Too. So it's where in here you push out, my yeah. For the people them out there who yeah. want to get in touch with Juna Cat, whether it is for bookings, even though the COVID thing still at, yeah. dub plate, whatever it is, how do they go about doing that? Well, as you know, as I tell you, you know, brother, we know have a manager, you know, and yes. people will know that so Juna Cat is a man, we always be around the dub studio, them, mm -hmm. and we can find people who always have artist number, yes. or you can get him pan him number. But like, um, for say, you have to call this company or this agent mm. or this agent. So they will get directly to you? I don't have a booking agent. So just give them the number so they can you link know? you, man. Yeah, well, they can reach me at um, 277-8068. Them don't know that. You don't have number that. So I'm Repeat it. 277-8068. You know what I mean? And as I told you, when we in Jamaica, we're always around the dub studio. Them yeah. It's an underground business where everybody knows them one another. And they meet a man and ask him, say, well, I'm to Tom, I wear Tom number there, and he can't tell you I'm no one here. Maybe they have a personal problem, but yeah. everybody knows everybody around here. Mm. It's a small place. We talk about some of the big tunes I'm already. I kind of saved this. Like my favorite junior cat, a Machine Gun Kelly. Okay. No one piece of that before I believe. Machine Gun Kelly, shoot to your belly. Yeah, your friend them mash up me say like, go have a jelly. This Machine Gun Kelly, aim for your belly. Yeah, your friend them mash Them go make a mistake on this, my girl Shelly. When I circle back again, somebody all out Kelly. Me just put it from cock your nose and your belly. If you make a mistake, around Machiavelli. Well, I see him so I get it, see him where I sell it. <laughs> Father cat. Yo. It's a, it's a Anna brother. No respect, It's man. a joy. Yeah, man. You understand? But so long and well a reason with the one. Yeah. And it's good for the man to sell do the thing. Yeah, man. You understand? Even though yeah. you know, say, the thing might be challenging sometimes. As yeah. people may have you in your brother's shadow, but you yeah. still step out and make a name for yourself. And, and, and Junior Cat is a brand by itself. Yeah, him know too. 
Cat no too because even after Cat cool off of the market, I was here holding up the thing. See him, yeah. yeah. I never got about that long time, man. Yeah. And say Cat come back here, come do a big show and them thing. I was not a show. Yeah. But I am still here. Oh, things between you and your brother though. Well, you know, it's just like we buck up, you know, heel and all them things there and really. But Cat is not really a friendly guy like that, you know what I mean? Cat will travel in the moon bands and don't talk to them. So people are thinking sick. So if you understand something, you won't make it be a problem. Yeah. You know what I mean? Me just know that was going to happen. But big him up, give him respect, and under that. And him know we love him, but do you think, General? Mm. Yeah. Shabba but, Ranking, same way. Yeah. Okay, America, Shabba called me. Yo, me say there. All right, tell Juna Demos to down for me to come check you. And the man, big, big oh, yeah, and Juna still link up. Juna Demos is my boy, man. I'm a boy yeah. in America, they man. See me, man. I'm going to America, I'm going to call him and come out and he must put on him felt time jacket and two felt man with two jackets and we're going. <laughs> Julia and Julia. Yeah. We give them hell around them, man. So, he might look more than papers to come so we can get the thing back together mm. again. So, it's it not over till it's finished, as I tell you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. To the fans, I'm out there. What do you have to tell them? Well, I just want to tell the people, I'm saying, you know, over the years, you know, I give thanks to what happened for me in you know, reggae music. And it's not everybody going to like it. Some of them just like your music because artists don't have no behavior. But listen to me now. You see, if you mash up 10 something, you try fix back even 20. So them can say, well, then you're doing better now. But for we as artists out there, we have to know what we say and what we do. Especially me. People don't brand reef from down and I get to an all them things there with all kind of bad life and them things. So from here on on we have to make it good with them if you understand. Say. The music is where we are talking to the people them show. And if it's the gun music you hear, it don't mean that we're in a crime. It's just a next we have having fun where some people love it too. But where the man them have to know. We love the music and we don't want them mash it up. Hard thing. We DJ brother, brother. till morning come, my brother. We don't see that again. So a guy can go over look at the sun or go draw cocaine if you want to. But members stay strong. Yeah. That's the only thing we have around here. Live and love. Mad thing. Man, so play Bible King, cause love is all I got. Man, so love is all I got, and love is all I bring. So keep you bubbling and you swing until the morning. You me tell him, road boy. Rough and tough, and it getting rougher. Rough and tough, and the youth them are suffer. Rough and tough, and it getting rougher. Rough and tough and poor people are suffer. Have you ever hear a poor man talk about white squall? When hungry, you lick up on him, tripe them a ball. How the worm them in your belly, but I'm still a crawl. Looks man, your mouth like over white mall. Meekly wait, my man, not you never catch me a ball. But this is what I want to speak about most of all. Tired for pass a prisoner, you day out them a ball. Babylon, I beat them with button behind wall cars. Rough and tough and it getting rougher. Rough and tough and the youth them a suffer. Rough and tough and it getting rougher. Oh, ja, help me tonight. I've been suffering in thy sight. Well, if I hear then I give her your fight. I'll walk with love, sweet love. I'll talk with love, sweet love. May have the love in my heart, you pack up and it a store. So tell the ghetto youth, them not broke out like no sore. Remember the killing, Mr. Overport more. Policeman kill six and soldier kill four. So tell Mr. Man no close down the gun store. We don't want to see no more innocent on the floor. Boy, you dead, you are good then. And this is general bullet in your head. Jump and on the jump and then I dead, you are good then. On the ramp with bad man bullet in your head. Dopey, we did a go let you go. If you never this the program, we did a go let you go. Drop them in a sinking sand, we did a go let you go. Do not cut the pond version. But I'm playing Bamboo King, cause the love is all I bring. Play Bamboo in for bounce sound to make you keep on get around. It no matter from the country, I no matter from the town. But if I want to you, I don't love it, and if you tell me how my sound. But I tell them, do not cut the name the pond microphone, and let me tell you, you leave us alone, cause. But I said, let love go, God, for let your love stay. And no matter what they do, and no matter what they say, but me said, teach them channel and it a play. Tell you, me said, teach them, come teach them today. And the big man teach them channel. A Juna can't, and the whole in a mill. Stand up like a young, cause them know we can fell. Righteousness we buy, we no have nothing to sell. Heading up to heaven, cause we now go to hell. No show up, no face, nor no tell me about no bell. Some boy Jerry Curl and can't afford gel. <laughs> Teach them! Hey yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment below. Remember to like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Follow me on social media and check out the suggested videos on screen. This is Teach saying until next time. Walk good, my friends.